Hi there. Just getting back from a short drive in my S2000, and uh, one of the things I hear people talking about with these cars is how fast and easy it is to put the top up and put the top down, which is technic, which is true. But if you'll notice, and today is a beautiful day, so I don't have to worry about putting the top up. But one of the things I always do is I drive the car with my uh, cover, or convert it to, to no cover on top of the, you know, over the thing, because I think the car looks better, and I just like, and yeah, just like it better to, to drive like that. So, you know, if, it, if I happen to be out on a drive with the top down and it's raining or something like that, I better find a bridge because, or, or something, because uh, you can't put the top up that easily until you take this thing off. And uh, one of the issues sometimes is getting it off, believe it or not. <laughs> so there's only four snaps that hold this one on. I think the 2000 and 2001 might have a, a, a couple of extra snaps, but what I'm gonna do is show you how I take this thing off and then put it back on. So but basically, <clears throat> the easy ones to get here to are right here on the, each side. And these things are come, come off and on pretty easily but you just, they're not technically snaps because you just can't pull them off. You have to pull this, this part back and that releases a, a spring in there or, or a, the, what holds it in place. Now you can just push them on. Just, just like, yeah, if I can do it. You can just push them on. But to take them off, you gotta pull this back. Anyway. So I'm gonna go release the other one on the other side, and then I'm gonna I'm going to uh, it's just the same over here. But then what we're gonna do is to get these two off, one behind each seat. That's a little bit of a challenge. Uh, you might try going around the other side, or I can go over there. The way I do this, you pull the, this part up here, and the snap, or the, the thing is right down there. I have to get my fingers in here and pull that back, and then <laughs> try to get it off. And wouldn't you know it, I'm having trouble today. <laughs> Swing it. Now, let's try the other side first. <laughs> Sometimes, there's just not a lot of working room in here. Ah, there you go. Got it off. So, let's see. Hopefully, I can get this one off now that that one's loose. Anyway. Guess I just don't have as much oomph in my left hand as I do on the other one. Yeah. Like I said, the top goes up, up and down in six seconds, but <clears throat> getting this thing off may take six minutes. Well, hmm. I guess first you don't succeed, you just keep trying. Anyway, this is the way I do it. Ah, there we go, came off. Now the other interesting thing is that once you get off, get it off, what do you do with it? Well, the answer is you put it in the trunk, unless if you, particularly if you have a passenger. And so, let me open the trunk up. Take this off. And pull that in there. Pull that in there. So you need to put this thing on. The interesting thing is, is if you got much in the trunk, you're not going to be able to fit this in the trunk. And if you got a passenger, it isn't going in the passenger seat. Oops. So anyway, takes up most of the space in the trunk. Anyway, now we're going to try to put it back on. Hopefully it'll go on a little easier than it came off. Typically what I do is take it out of the trunk. Oops. 
lay it on here properly. Try not to beat things up too much. You can stay over there. And uh, I usually put these on first. Now, remember what I said. These things will push on, so the key to getting it back on, sometimes you don't even have to put your hand down there, is just to get the thing centered and then just pop it on. Went right on. It's amazing it took, took so long to get it off. <laughs> anyway, here's the other one. That one went right on. So, there you go. Put the other clip on, it's on. Then the last part of the operation is just to put the putting the you know, top behind this uh, this rubber or this uh, trim piece and uh, it's on it's together and the car is ready to go anyway I just wanted to show you how this is done or at least how I do it there may be easier ways to do it and if there are I'd, I'd like to hear about it but uh, anyway I think it looks really good in addition to you know what I consider looking good the top, uh, to some extent, keeps road debris, leaves, uh, dirt, and whatnot out of the compartment where the top is, and it keeps the top somewhat cleaner, I think. Uh, typically, since this is a second car, or actually a third car, we don't, uh, you know, it's principally just a fun car to drive around, so, you know, if it's raining, I guess it's say, let me put it to you this way, 90% or 95% of the time we drive it around, the top's down. And so, uh, but like I say, that's the way I like to drive it. And I, I like the top, but believe me, it's not a, uh, it is a six, cent, six second operation for the top to go up and down, but putting the cover on is uh, anything but. So anyway, hope you liked the video and that's the way I do it. And so, thank you for your time. Bye.